Evening, lovely viewer. Well, we're at it again. We are at it again. And look, we have got another rose. Arrived just today. A bare root rose. It's a David Austin rose. And um, this one is in particularly good nick. I'm over the moon with it. And this rose is something that many people are after. It is Lady M. Hamilton. And look at that. Look at that. Now, I'm going to say at this point, there is a lady. She's not on YouTube. She's on Instagram. And she goes by the name of Ronnie's Roses. I'll include a, a link at the, at the bottom of the page. And um, she's a rose lover. And I know that she has been after um, Lady Emma Hamilton. She really was after her. And uh, she didn't manage to get hold of her. Now, Ronnie's has been down on her luck this year. She's been in and out of hospital. Her husband has done the best job that he could in taking care of her beloved roses, but she hasn't been mobile enough to, to look after her roses this year. And when she went to buy Lady Emma Hamilton, it had already sold out because we know these, this particular variety of rose, it's as, it's as rare as rocking horse. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give this rose away in this video. Ronnie's, she does live locally to me. She lives in the same county. So we're gonna go around and we're gonna, we're gonna drop this off to her. But just while I'm doing this, there is a breakage. I mean, look at, look at the main stems coming up here. How many? One, two, three, four, five. There's five main stems coming up and they're, they're, all, they're all very decent but there is a breakage just on this stem here. So I've decided that what I'm going to do, uh, this, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not, but you can see there's just a breakage just there. You see as I apply pressure there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to take this out. I'm going to carefully as I can, I'm going to try and prise that away. And I'm going to take a cutting because I haven't got this rose. I'm going to use this stem as a cutting for me. And I'm going to break it off there and I'm hoping that we will root from, from down here. Um, but that is, it's, it's sad that that has, that has happened there. I'd love to contact David Austin and say, you know, give me a replacement. But I know, I know they will, <laughs> they, they've sold out. They sold out pretty quickly. I think it was after a day or two and that's when Ronnie's, she missed her opportunity. But I'm going to cut that out and we'll see what we're left with. I don't want to damage the, the Bud Union. But this is going to be a little bit tricky. But that, as you can see, it's definitely broken. So let's get that cut off first and then we'll take it from there. I will need two hands. Right, well, we've got that out. I don't know if you can see how big that is, but that's what we've got here. And you know what? I'm I'm confident that that will, that that will root. I think that's, I think that's good. And I think that that there, <clears throat> I think that there will heal as well. But you saw it, it was, um, it had actually, it had broken and it had snapped off, but I'm gonna get this in water. I'm gonna get this in water as well, because I need to get that in water straight away. This is, is pretty um, dehydrated. So we're gonna get that fed and then tomorrow, we're gonna pop round to Ronnie's house. I'm probably just gonna drop this on the doorstep and drop her a message to say that it's there. In fact, I'm gonna show you exactly how we've done this because I kind of suspected that I was going to do this. And I know that she was after Rose Deep Secret as well. And this is a cutting that I took this year. And I know that this one here has succeeded because this has, this has flowered, this has done really well. But you can see like, all the, the new growth coming up. But I know, I know that there definitely has rooted. It's, it's done very well. And here we've got a couple more cuttings. Here is Delightful Parfumer. That's all one cutting there. This one here, two sort of stems coming up. That's all one cutting. And then a traditional sort of cutting there. She's expecting these. I did say that I would pop these round. So she is expecting these, but what she's not gonna be expecting is um, Lady Emma Hamilton. And I'm pretty sure she's gonna be over the moon. I'm not going to film her, I don't think. Certainly at time of making this video, you can leave it all down to your, your own imaginations as to, as to how happy 
she will be, if you're watching this video, the chances are that you too are a rose lover and you know that Lady Emma Hamilton is, is no longer for sale. So you can imagine how happy she will be. But maybe I'll, I'll film me dropping this off on her doorstep. And um, what I'd like to do next year, because she has got a fantastic collection of roses. She really has got a good collection. And what I'd like to do is go back there next year and have a walk around her garden and film some of her roses. And hopefully next year, you will see this rose in flower. And hopefully next year also, you will see, you will see this cutting in my garden start to bear fruit. Right, let's see what tomorrow brings. Right, well, this is now the following morning and we're gonna deliver it today. <clears throat> I've left it in soak overnight. But first of all, this rose, Lady Emma Hamilton, it is a shrub rose. It grows three feet by, by three feet, suitable for container planting. And um, it's a rose, they describe the fragrance as strong and fruity. And it's a, it's a rose that needs full sun. Now, I'm gonna try and install some photographs of the rose here. I'm hoping Gav can supply me with, with some photographs. But it's a rose that is very much in demand, always in demand. It's a, it's a rose that David Austin, they sell them. And then within a day or two, they're out of stock. And now David Austin have announced that they're discontinuing it. So you're not gonna be able to get hold of it again, which is why I think Ronnie's is gonna be so pleased that she's, that she's gonna get this. Now, I'm not getting any money for this. Um, you know, this is, is just a bit of warmth that's being spread. I'm not part of the YouTube creator program, nor will I be. This is just a bit of good old fashioned, spreading a bit of, a bit of warmth around the world. And I'm hoping that she's gonna be pleased with it. Now, Ronnie's, she's not on YouTube. As far as I'm aware, she doesn't know how to use it. She is on Instagram. Um, so hopefully you will see you will see it in the coming week or two planted. That is the that is the hope, but this is a lovely flower. It's like a an orangey sort of amber come red flower. Very attractive. It's a rose I think that will that will stand out. And it's a rose that I'm hoping will do will do very well for her. But we're gonna get around there. I'm just gonna leave it on her doorstep. I might take a photograph of it and then I'll I'll message her, let her know where it is and um We'll see how we go from there. But let's get to her town. I don't know. I don't know her. I've never met her. But this is just a gift to a stranger. That's all this is. <laughs> right. Hopefully next time you see this bag, it'll be on her doorstep. Yep, in true Hermes style, here's a photograph of the, um, the rose delivered. Now, I did message Ronis, and I, I got a lovely message back um, through Instagram. And um, yeah, she was she was very she was very happy indeed. Like I say, these roses they you can't get them now. That is it. They have been discontinued. So she was absolutely over her over the moon. And I got a lovely message also from her from her husband. I think that's fantastic. And they've they've said that I'm more than welcome next summer. We'll sort out a, a convenient time. I'll go round and I'll um I'll video some of her roses. I know she's got some fantastic roses in her in her back garden. But um, yeah, she's received it and very, very happy. Right, lovely viewer. I hope you have a lovely day.